Good morning and welcome to the channel. My name is Jonathan and I am a software developer who looks at tech companies for investors. And today I'm going to be having a look at Coinbase. Now, Coinbase is a well platform that allows users to trade and well manage cryptocurrency. So this video, I'm going to explain what Coinbase is and kind of what products it offers so that if you don't actually know what Coinbase is, you have a better understanding of how it makes its money. Now I'm going to make this video as a two-parter. I normally do this just as one massive video where I explain the company and then I look at its finances. But that's actually really heavy and in, in terms of concentration, I lose kind of interest after about five minutes. So uh, I'm going to try and just split it into two videos. I will do this video where I explain what it does and I will do another video which I will, will release tomorrow that looks into its finances. But enough of that, we are going to get into what Coinbase actually is. Now I kind of explained earlier that it is just a platform to manage cryptocurrency but it offers services for businesses and also services for individuals. So starting with individuals. Now there is a lot of different types of cryptocurrencies. The most popular ones are Bitcoin and Ethereum and Dogecoin, but there are literally like thousands more. And Coinbase offers an exchange for people to trade these cryptocurrencies the same way that you would trade stocks. Now this actually links really well to how Coinbase makes its money. It makes its money the kind of same way that most brokers make their money. They make money from transactions and, well, charging transaction fees. And I believe from what I could find, this makes up like at least 90% of their revenue. I still need to actually figure out where the other 10% comes from, but I will either explain that in the next video or I will just ignore that point completely. But yes, most of its money comes from charging, tran charging transaction fees to, well, individuals or businesses. The second thing it offers for individuals and kind of retail investors is the fact that it actually allows them to earn cryptocurrency by learning about cryptocurrency, which my kind of main point about that is it's a little bit peculiar, but quite interesting. It's actually quite a smart business idea. If you allow people to earn cryptocurrency through learning about cryptocurrency, you generate more interest in cryptocurrency, which means that your platform becomes, well, more popular. So by offering cryptocurrency, when you learn about cryptocurrency, it's like a really good marketing and sales tactic. So it offers quite a lot of resources for individuals to learn about cryptocurrency. The third thing that it actually offers for individuals is a wallet. Pretty much like your online bank account, you can store your cryptocurrency in this wallet, but you can also transfer between, well, accounts. So if you need to transfer, well, cryptocurrency from one account to another, Coinbase makes that quite simple. And the final thing that it offers for individuals is, well, a bit like a card, it allows individuals to purchase products using cryptocurrency with well retailers who actually accept cryptocurrency so for individuals grouping all together it pretty much acts the same way as a bank would act and that's pretty much the same thing that it offers for businesses so getting into the things that it offers for businesses it acts as a brokerage it acts as a brokerage for financial institutions to trade cryptocurrency so it offers institutional investors the same opportunities well that it offers the retail investors with some slight differences the second thing that it offers businesses is that it allows them to store and hold assets in cryptocurrency so similar to what it offers the individuals who store well cryptocurrency in their wallet this is just on a different kind of scale Thirdly for businesses is that it allows them to, well, accept cryptocurrency as a payment. So this is their kind of commerce part of it, which is quite kind of, it works pretty well hand in hand with the individuals being able to pay with cryptocurrencies. Now businesses are offered the ability to accept 
cryptocurrencies as a payment. Now, finally, my final kind of thing that I found on what Coinbase actually offers is it offers an asset hub where businesses can actually add their own assets. So kind of like their own cryptocurrencies. Now, I don't know exactly what constitutes as an asset, but businesses can list their own assets to, well, be seen by cryptocurrency investors. And those are the kind of main products that Coinbase offers. So if you actually look at it as a whole, Coinbase just really acts like a bank, a bank for individuals, but also a bank for businesses. And it specializes in its focus is on cryptocurrency. And with the growing popularity of cryptocurrencies, yeah, it's pretty valuable. Now for me personally, Banks and kind of conventional banks and holding your assets and money seems to be not a really good option at the moment. With negative interest rates on savings accounts and increasing kind of costs, it seems that holding your assets in something else is a better option. Now, whether it's cryptocurrencies or stocks or, well, hard assets, it could really be anything. And Coinbase just kind of offers you that opportunity to well, hold cryptocurrency. So let me know what you think about Coinbase in the comment section down below. Also, if you have any points about Coinbase that I may have missed, also comment them down as well. Thank you very much for watching. I do hope you have enjoyed. If you are interested in the next video where I look at the finances of Coinbase, then be sure to subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time. Oh, 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 oh,